Hello everyone, MP here bringing you another RenPy tutorial. Uh, today I got an interesting question from Eric of Panzer Hearts. And um, he basically asked me, well, he has this hint system where if you mouse over a certain piece of image or whatever, it will notify you an inf some information about the hint, uh, that it's a hint or whatever. And he wants to be able to make it so that it's a little bit more obvious that there's a hint there, but then have it go away once you've already gotten the hint so that it's not obtrusive. So here's what I've come up with. We have right here a really cheap, fast outline that I made and the, uh, my Christmas avatar on Discord by Mikomi Kasomi. And so when I hover over the outline part, it goes away. So it's it's decided, okay, I've seen this now. When I hover over this, it gives a little notification, okay? So let's see how we did that. And this may seem like a little bit of overkill, but I've made it so, but this is a system that he's gonna be using a lot. So I've made it extensible. Um, first of all, we have our hint screen, which will take a list of hints. So in my script, I just give it emp hint. I have an if use outline. So if we're going to use the outline, which can be done much better so that it looks nicer than what I made, but um, it can be just like a glowy thing around it or something like that. We make an image button that's behind the regular image button. It has a null action so that the hovered will actually work. When we've hovered on it, we're gonna call the function that will change the value of this use outline thing so that we don't use it anymore. And then we're aligning it with X and Y. The reason I chose X align for this instead of X position, Y position is because the two images can be different sizes and as long as they're still centered in the same place and have the same anchor, which they do by default, you can have them over each other very nicely. If you had, if you tried to do it with positions instead, you would have to do some math and stuff like that. So for this one, I do it with aligns. So let's look at the hint class. I just have the image. So that's the image for the actual image. It's my Christmas avatar. The outline, which is the ghostly outline thing, which you can see is right here, this thing here. the X align and the Y align, the variable to check for, and the function to change it, and then of course the text to show as a hint later when, it, when we do notifications. So I make my, I have two functions that I've defined outside of this class, just seen amp, have we seen amp? So if we've seen amp, then we're gonna change the emp scene variable to be true. So we've already seen it. If we have not, then we'll, well, there's no changing it to have not. Um, it's just, it starts off false and it becomes true at some point when you hover over it. Um, and then has seen emp is the question function where it will return whether or not we should use an outline. We should use an outline if emp scene is false, so that's why it's not emp scene. And then we shouldn't use it if emp, scene, emp has been seen, so that's why it's not. So then all I had to do to create this was, I said emp hint equals these two images, my x line and y line, my check function, my change it function, and my text. And this is a totally extensible, scalable framework so that when, if you want to have like, you know, 
three different ones on the screen at the same time. You can do that just by adding them all to the list. Um, and so that you can keep reusing this hint screen whenever you, for whatever hint you possibly need to. So um, let's talk about the screen again a little bit. Uh, in addition to using whether we use the outline or not, this right here is this is what will show only once and it is behind, so before, the second image button. I use focus mask true because I don't want to have it disappearing when you just hover over the box. I want it to disappear when you hover over the non-transparent part of the box. And then the hovered and the action null action is so that hovering will actually work. And then the positions. And the same thing for the other one, the second image button, it's which just we're just using a different image which is presumably smaller than our outline. And that's all you have to do. So this is, you can literally make any hint you want and add them all to the screen and they will all work like this. And the notification still works multiple times so you can hover over it again to see it again, but you don't need that hint anymore that it is there because you've already seen that. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you found it helpful. See you next time.